Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Echo B Season 7. So I just started by getting few logs as the desert where we live is totally empty of all the trees and even neighboring trees uh, for uh, different biome they were all cut down so the first one I could see was in this jungle so came here with the cart to pick it up just as we do need some logs to work on them and uh, prepare many items for future use because yeah, they are quite expensive and I want to have some type of ladders and to have ladders I would need hewn logs and they are expensive and far at the moment so I thought the best way is for me to just come around and grab uh, a few trays so as, as we go towards our place you can probably see that is there's like no trees at all all cut down by everyone who's already here many people have actually used it for hewn already and yeah those trees are too small so not much benefits and this one is claimed lens otherwise I would take of the crash as well. So I did get uh, myself some arrastras and few basic upgrade trees. I even got uh, one of those. What was it called? Damn, I already forgot. <laughs> the one where you sort out the stuff. But anyway, yeah. So I have my mining machinery and few windmills on top of my store. There's a lot of road making going on, so so yeah, it's all going well. Hello. I wish we could just walk through those those animals. Uh, super annoying. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of mining downstairs as well. So it looks way different than what it used to look like. So actually, I will take this all the way downstairs. Ooh. Not the best place placement, but it will do. And as we're already here, then I can just put more stuff on the floor. So yeah, I'm thinking about making uh, a storage floor here which will be right between the shop and uh, the mine uh, because, well, I need way more storage I don't have enough I have made this room kind of empty initially I was thinking that I will have a kiln for making bloomers and stuff but I didn't really have as much time and, uh, well, competition is offering a lot of those so I decided that I will use this room for something else I've been also making molten stone and not for selling, only for my own projects and way too much mortar. So at the moment, uh, as you can see, my storage is pretty much full of it. And that's also the reason why I needed the uh, logs so I can start making some of the stockpiles. So let's see. Let's do four stockpiles. Uh, maybe two storage chests and maybe I can even afford one research table because those are always necessary so I can quickly go and maybe get a few more of the fibers so yeah last time during the video I, I noticed that the audio was well, missing so I had to do the voiceover which which was quite difficult especially as it was well, very early morning for me and I didn't really sleep much I, I think I got like one and a half hours before recording so yeah it was super troublesome video making but today happily I have slept enough so I feel a lot better and 
yeah, I can therefore uh, make sure that the audio is working much better. Because yeah, just before recording, I checked uh, if if the audio is working and compared it to my last season videos. And yeah, on my microphone, I turned the stereo into uh, mono again. So hopefully, my voice is a bit more clear as I really got annoyed how echoey it was all the time. So, whilst it might not bother many people, it did bother me and I, I generally don't even listen to my videos back much because of my own voice. But I do know that I need to do so as otherwise mistakes happen and there's a lot of trouble. I think one of the previous seasons I had also some trouble with the audio and ended up just releasing without any audio because it was when the video was all done and uh, up and I was like something seemed strange so I tried to listen in and oops no audio so I think I put uh, some audio track from YouTube audio library there but yeah I don't want to do that again so, so I will do my best to listen in every time and the other reason why I didn't notice the audio stuff immediately was as in OBS I had way too many like uh, input devices defined so like webcam has its own microphone and have some internal uh, mixed ones as well yeah it's definitely just misleading me a lot as the yeah I think it was yeah the, uh, the camera microphone was picking up and I was like oh okay it's working so it's all good <laughs> and yeah it wasn't okay so this floor is almost you can put the wall yeah, now. So I did actually plug the hole outside uh, to put all the wall inside the water. On the lower levels, there is uh, stuff blocking it, so I don't need to worry about the water coming in too easily. So just the uh, upper layers, I had to uh, dig in and set the wall before I could dig out from inside. Place those quickly and two more. Then we can go and take a look. I will do the roof bit later. So yeah, our staircase going all the way down here as well. And yeah, ah, rocker box. That was the thing I wanted to mention before. Ah, words, they're difficult. Anyway, uh, I need to move the staircase later as well, so I can have proper go around way. And yeah, so here I dug the hole inside. So all the wall is placed before I was doing digging inside. And even outside I've been digging a little bit because well, sand is good. You can make loads of mortar. And yeah, so it's all good. But yeah, now going back to the mine. So this floor is pretty much uh, dug out as much as it could. I mean, I can do more here now as I know that the water is not seeping in. And I also went a bit lower and I found plenty of iron. So I've been mining that out as well. So, so yeah, there's loads of stuff to do. I've also put some of my tailings here. Hopefully I can uh, uh, utilize the tailings later when someone gets the advanced smelting to a level so they can uh, repurpose all the tailings into iron and other stuff. But until then I need to hide it. And yeah, this is my rubbish pile like all the initial wooden tools and also the tents. 
I really wish that uh, we could mod the game to not give us temp, but instead, uh, like just the basic tools. It would definitely make life much easier, or like even the tool bench. So I wouldn't mind starting the game with pickaxe, shovel, uh, hammer, and axe, and then the tool bench, and one tiny stockpile. I mean, the stockpile is even optional. Because this way we could easily stop everything. And yeah, maybe also the land claim stake, because we need to claim the land somehow. And you can't do it with the papers, which I have quite few now. Maybe I should claim a little bit more land then. So, if we want to get more land, we need two spacing at least. So I think I will go this way. Looks quite nice. Okay, four more. So later on I can claim the few extra pieces and and pretty much just make my land much bigger. I might even consider running some type of road through here so we can access different parts of the land. So there are many, many options. Ah, of course, I made... I forgot that I was in the editing mode. But yeah, so it's all taking shape. We can have proper uh, storage here. and put three in a row, which is plenty. I'm quite happy with that. So I will, wow, 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 wow. That's, that's a bit too much. So yeah, I will just finish off that land and also build some type of wall. So it feels more like storage area. And on this side, I do have enough land so I can extend it on this side and maybe even make a second store uh, for this corner or maybe not even store but just uh, like future parking spots where I can put my trucks and whatnot. So yeah, that's a few options. And yeah, I did buy another uh, road storage because uh, the other one did not go all the way to our neighbor. So I wanted to make sure that I can, whenever I have some stuff up there, I can just come in and sell. And at the moment, I don't have crash trucks, so I have to make them. Motor, I have plenty, but yeah, they already have a lot as well. So, yeah. Let me quickly also set up my small storage for the bottom room. Maybe I can use it as storage, yeah. It would make a lot of sense because we have to store upstairs. So I can track all the water from, uh, from, from those reward storages down there. So reward storage is like, they're really nice in many ways. But uh, when storing something that you normally can have like 100 of, then it just wastes the space because you can still have only 40, so. So yeah. I mean, if it was just multiplier for everything, it would be easy, but well, it's not. And yeah, I have to mine rocks definitely. That's what the research table also wants. So let me get a few right away. So let's take 20. A small lag. I mean, I have got a bad lag in the past hour or so. And some people have even had like up to two seconds at times, which is a lot, to be honest. But for me, normally it is like about 300 milliseconds, like the ping, which is 
Right in the goods, considering everything. And yeah, I'm using limestone for wrong purposes all the time now. So most of it I made into regular mortared stone. Because I needed it and nothing else was available. So yeah. It's a lot of work that I need to do. A lot of grind. We can maybe have some skis like... I can't even remember what day it was supposed to be. Definitely a few days left. So, not yet. Because we need like all the mechanics and stuff to come out. And yeah, it's still like the second day on the server, so... Kinda new. A lot of people active. And it seems to be much better start than like the previous season. Less work for admins, I guess. At least I haven't noticed anything uh, yet. Maybe, maybe there have been cases and I've uh, just been on at the wrong time. But yeah, it frankly seems much easier and also less people. Because I think last season for the second day we had like over 300 people who had logged in in total. But now we have much less. Okay. Should be enough for starting most of the stuff. Good. And this room, how much space do I have? 36. So I could put the research table right here, which is also nice. So that's what I will do right away. Because you never know when you need to research something. So, so what, what is the size limit for that? Ooh, the height needs to be three. That's not so nice. Then I have to put it downstairs somewhere. Because here I cannot have the <laughs> three heights. So, yeah, I need to make extra room that is maybe underneath the staircase and all that. So I will probably do it off the camera because it's kind of boring. But yeah, we, we are definitely doing quite nicely. Maybe not the best on the server. Because I'm not really the grindy person. But yeah, we still have a few items available. Iron Concentrate, the only one selling it. No one is even buying it. I'm not sure who can uh, who can actually smelt it. Uh, we do have few smelters. Nine in total. So Dan does that. Dinsha who's online can do it. Let's try. Yeah, there's few people who can easily come and buy a concentrate, I guess. So let's see how well it goes. Yeah. 1800 mortar and I have 500 as reserves. So 2300. It's quite a lot. And yeah, I'm only buying those uh, rocks for crashing. I mean, at the moment, I don't really have any, but yeah. I'd like to go and make more rocks and uh, get the crashed over to our neighbor. So, so our neighbor can make more roads and also buy more of our beloved mortar. So at the moment, I don't have any limestone, yeah? The crushed limestone, no. So yeah, I will work on that. So next episode I will probably do on Sunday, and yeah, I will well, see you then.